I want to show you how you can take your sand tray and turn it into a regulation tool. So likely, if you have a sand tray in your office, you've noticed that your children sometimes come over and they just put their hands in it, or maybe you have some tools already, like a, like a bucket and a scoop, and maybe you've already noticed that children like to move the sand. Well, from an SPT perspective, what was actually happening is they're regulating their autonomic nervous system. So what we do from an SPT lens is we really invite that and we have specific tools that we bring in to support the enhancement of that. So let me introduce you to five, we call them like the five main tools to turn your, your tray into a regulation device. So we start with the bucket and the scoop, which are pretty common already in play therapy rooms. So we've got the bucket and the scoop. We have a, um, a sifter. We have a funnel. And then the one that sometimes is unfamiliar to individuals is the turkey baster. So those are the five. And so you may wonder why, why those five. And really those five are these five because I just notice what happens in your body when I do when I do this. They actually simulate the flow of energy as it runs through our autonomic nervous system. So I'm just going to do that again, just so you can even notice. Notice if there's a shift in you in some way. So children will actually use these different tools as a way to work with the different energy that is activated in their nervous system. Maybe the energy is really hyper aroused. Maybe it's more hypo aroused. Maybe it's stuck. Maybe there's different tension points. And what's so beautiful is we see the children take these tools and begin to work it. Sometimes I like to think of this as the chiropractic adjustment in the play therapy office. Now, as far as um, setup goes, um, typically what we would do is we would have our tray and the tray would not have anything in it because it really is an open invitation that says, come use the tray however you would like to. Even though I'm talking about turning this into a regulation tool, there's still an invitation to put miniatures in here, right? There's still an invitation to create active play in the sand with the different toys. And if we have a, a bucket or a container off to the side that has these different tools in it, it's yet another invitation that says, you could also use the tray like this, right? You could also just use the tray to move the sand to support your autonomic nervous system in being able to regulate and to come back into a more equilibrated place. We also recognize that simply having an open tray like this also allows it for an invitation for the child to also use their own body and their own hands as a tool. Even notice what happens in your body. Notice how it's hard not to feel, right? We, 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 we feel when we're in the tray. And so this is also another way that children work with the activation in their autonomic nervous system, moving the sand, touching the sand, once again, helping themselves connect to whatever it is that has come up for them, their thoughts, their emotions, their body sensations. So I invite you to get curious about this. If this is not a way you've considered the tray before, I invite you to get some of these tools play them yourself so that you can really get that sense of how what you're doing is an expression of what's going on inside of you. Put them in your playroom and, and, see, and see what happens. See how the children use the sand tray in another way than just putting miniatures and creating scenes and creating active play in the, in the sand.